Plot the movie is an immediate continuation of its ancestor. For more data on the ancestor plot, see Pony and Selwyn. I, a youthful Nandini and Adita Karikalan's maturing sentiment is deterred by Princess Kundavi and Sembian Mahadevi, who thus remove Nandini and her temporary family from the realm. Nandini is said to have consequently taken in by Virapandiyam, the Pandya ruler. By and by, Arulmoji Vaman assumed name Pony and Selvan assumed demise dampens the domain. Parthibendran Pallavan meets with Nandini on the coast and she controls him to mislead Adita. Karikalan to Kadambur for the clear prosperity of the realm. Ravidasan and different individuals from Pandya Abathudavigal wish to ensure that Pony and Selvan is dead. Vallavaraya Vandiya Devan and Punjali line with a maid due and severely sick Pony and Selvan, who was saved by Umai Rani from being suffocated in the ocean. They chance upon Azakadian Nambi and Sindha Mamodha, who recommends hurrying Pony and Selvan to Buddhist priests for treatment. They see Ravidasan and his kindred culprits drawing nearer and thus, Vandiya Devan misleads them and gets himself seized. Somewhere else, Madhurantakan broadcasts himself as replacement to the privileged position. Gets support from Shivan Adiyas and alliance with Khotiga, Rashtrakuta ruler, who wants to retaliate for being crushed by Adita Karikalan in a fight. By wedding his girl, Nandini, Ravidasan and others contrive to kill Adita Karikalan. Sundara Chosar and Pony and Selvan simultaneously and Nandini uncovers that she intends to kill Adita Karikalan in Kadambur, where he would be coming. The court Vandiya Devan, claiming to be oblivious, hears this. Later he reveals to Nandini that he had seen Umai Rani, who looks like her and is obviously her mom. Consequently, Nandini saves Vandiya Devan from death. Nambi camouflages himself and salvages Vandiya Devan, who hurries to meet Kundavi and advises her of Pony and Selvan presence. She declares her affections for him. Nambi in the interim advises Adita Karikalan that Pony and Selvan is alive. Both Kundavi and Adita Karikalan rush to the Viharam, where Pony and Selvan is being relieved. Vandiya Devan transfers to Adita Karikalan that Nandini means to kill him in Kadambur and demands him to drop his choice of going there yet he disposes of him and orders Vandiya Devan not to come. After him, Pony and Selvan tells Kundavi that Umai Rani, his friend in need, looks similar to Nandini, recalling that her dad was upset in the wake of getting to see Nandini interestingly. Kundavi suspects that he knows about who Umai Rani is. She excursions to Thanjavur and faces Sundara Chosa, who uncovers to her that he had met Mandakini otherwise known as Umai Rani is a young fellow in Lanka while being pursued by the Pandyas and was involved with her prior to leaving to his realm and getting hitched to Vanavan Mahadevi. He attempted to return to her however she was dead to dead after suffocate. Kundavi suspects that Nandini may be her stepsister and inquires as to whether she was anxious of Nandini and Adita Karikalan relationship along these lines. Nonetheless, Sembian Mahadevi tells Kundavi that Mandakini was pregnant with Nandini. Almost two years after Sundara chose a union with Vanavan Mahadevi. Uncovering that Nandini isn't Kundave relative. Alleviating her. In the interim, the Pandyas become mindful of Pony and Selvan presence and plot to kill him at the Viharam however. Pony and Selvan impedes their endeavors. Pungjali and Sendham Amudha enter Thanjavur's stronghold. To which the Pandyas get entrance. Mandakini sees this and follows them while Pungjali sees Mandakini and the Pandyas. Vanati uncle Priya Vila lays attack to the post over Pony and Selvan demise and enjoys a contention with Chinna Pajuvet Tariyar, the stronghold's president, causing a terrified Madhurantakan to get away from through a passage and take shelter at Hay. Rashtrakutis, Pony and Selvan shows up with Vanati at the stronghold. 
manufacturing harmony between the two militaries punguzahali having seen the pandyas cautions chinna pajuvet tariar of their invasion in the meantime in kadambur priya pajuvet tariar and different rulers propose splitting the realm among him in madurantakan however adita karikalan goes against and consents to relinquish the realm for madurantakan assuming he will be permitted to keep his military and vanquish terrains toward the north priya pajuvet tariar leaves to thanjavur for transferring the news to madurantakan however karuthiruman a paddling man who helped the pandyas in lanka tells him of nandini and the pandyas scheme to kill adita karikalan in kadambur meaning to save adita karikalan he surges back to kadambur while the pandyas likewise barge in kadambur through a passage which vandiya devan additionally goes through to protect adita karikalan mandakini advances toward sundara chosa yet passes on subsequent to taking a bowl which was expected for him Ponian Selvan hearing his dad shouting out of distress arrives quells the pandya professional killers and kills them in kadambur adita karikalan meets with nandini and demands her to kill him trusting that it can cool her fury in spite of not having the option to force herself to cut him nandini yields and wounds him to death the pandyas rush her out of kadambur securely In the meantime, Vandiya Devan and Priya Pajuvet Tariar, who attempt to save Adita Karikalan, are thumped oblivious by the Pandyas, who remove Priya Pajuvet Tariar with them. In the wake of acquiring his awareness, Vandiya Devan grieves Adita Karikalan's demise and takes his body to Parthibindra Pallavan and different rulers, who blame him for homicide. Adita Karikalan maternal granddad Tirukovalur Malayaman holds on to Vandiya Devan and Kadambur top dog Sambuvarayar thinking them Adita Karikalan's cadaver is brought to Thanjavur where Sundara Chosa his family and the public regret his passing on a boat Karuthiruman who is caught by the observing Pandyas uncovers to a fretful Nandini that her dad is Virapandiyam who attacked mandakini and impregnated her following sundara chosa's path this was the motivation behind why he raised nandini at the point when ravidasan concurs with karuthiruman nandini out of culpability suffocates herself in ponni leaving a directive for her significant other priya pajuvet tariar who she accepts as the main one to have shown genuine friendship and love towards her Nambi enlightens Chinna Pajuvet Tariar regarding Priya Pajuvet Tariar area and he is thusly liberated from the Pandyas while Vandiya Devan is being attempted in Sundara Chosa court Priya Pajuvet Tariar returns and unveils reality in the interim Parthibendran expects Ponian Selvan to be the driving force behind Adita Karikalan passing in partners with the rashtrakutas and other opponent realms to attack the chola domain to vindicate adita karikalan demise sundara chosa is educated regarding this and allows vandiya devan to help ponian selvan in the approaching fight madhuran tamkan renounces to battle against his country and sides with ponian selvan helping him in the fight the chola arise successful afterward Sundara Chosa chooses to revoke the high position for his main existing child however upon the arrival of royal celebration Ponian Selvan proposes delegated Madhurantakan who takes on the name Uttama Chola the epilogue uncovers that Vandiya Devan and Ponian Selvan headed broad successes under Uttama Chola rule and after his passing Ponian Selvan acquired the high position as Rajaraja Chola while the Pandyas were caught and rebuffed